All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening to another episode of Garage Night. Garage Night brought to you by Cole Street Brewery, Bordeaux Wine Bar, and Mazatlan. Please go hit them up and say that you listened to Garage Night and Full Buddy Cast. And that you're a – what did you just – you just dropped your car. At least he has a car. The car uh, your so. car – I know where your car is at. It's right there. It's underneath the table. Uh, want me to kick it to you? Yeah. There you go. Someone gave us cars. I also got a. Uh, I don't know who bought it. Is it you guys? You guys? Who? Anyway, uh, there was a. No, 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 no. Just leave it out. We're just gonna leave it out. Okay. But you have it there. You have it there, son. Um, a slot machine I came back from Vegas, and there was a slot machine in the mail. Uh, that was pretty sweet. My kids been playing it like crazy. Um, anyway. Big uh, big shout outs go out to Cole Street Brewery, uh, Bordeaux Wine Bar. We're gonna go and what Mazelon, we're gonna actually gonna go there for a full body Friday night, September tenth, when this one's released. This is today's September tenth one. Uh, so we'll be out there around six PM for Mazatlan, and then uh, we'll be yeah, eh, fifteen minutes late, six six fifteen. Uh, bring your friends, bring your people, bring your kids. No, don't no, it's the bar. Bring and then we're gonna go to Bordeaux Wine Bar and, and then uh, Cole Street uh, mm. after that as well. All right, so let's just jump right in. Garage Night with Craig and Corey Bentley. Craig Bentley, say hello. Holla! Who that was? Was that Ja? Wait, was that Ja Rule? Was that? Oh, was that Timbaland? Wait, wait, was that Missy Elliott? No, that was Craig Bentley. Craig, <laughs> that was a white ginger yelling holla. We got Corey Bentley as well. Corey, give what up? What? Oh, now I don't think we'll be able to uh, to promote this yet, but we're going to. We wanted to get them on. I don't know if we have enough time, but there's a show coming up here for Nick Tanner and Black Box. Black Box is playing uh, Thursday, September 16th. So that's in about one week. Uh, and I, we're, I don't know where, where are they playing at. Is it going to be at the Chalet? Uh, I think it might be at the Beak. At the Beak? Okay, well, we'll figure that out. We'll post that. But, hey, drive to the Beak. If they're not there, drive to the Chalet. No, actually, there. We, have a, we have a gig date at the Beak. Yes, Thursday, 916. So, uh, so go down there if you want to listen. Me and Sean went last time. Uh, a guy that was talking some trash to me earlier in the summer, I saw him get punched in the face, which was nice. Uh, he was going around hassling people and i saw him get punched but you won't get punched because the beak is safe uh <laughs> always a good time <laughs> there was some dark but i'm telling you absolutely impressed are you going to be in town um on the 16th craig or are you gonna be out of town again because you're no. you're out of town last time when we went to you went to the chalet but you didn't go to the beak one correct um, i should be available and there with bells and whistles on that's a thursday night yeah that's that's motorcycle night Ooh. Nice. I'm gonna have to strap on my uh my leather. I don't have a leather uh <laughs> ride a little bicycle up. Just, <laughs> dude, maybe I can get uh, 18 let me borrow his moped, I'll ride in. Oh right. dude, we just ride in, start some fights. <laughs> you park and knock all the other bikes over. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman it. Just leave just leave 18's number. <laughs> all right, black box. I'm writing it down right now. I got nothing going on that night. Uh it's also Thursday night football. I'll have to check that out. But go to Black Box Beak, <laughs> September 16th. And uh, say hi to everyone. Listen to Nick Tanner, who has one of the most amazing voices. It sounds good, but it also sounds exactly like what you're used to listening to because they do. They're a cover band. They do a lot of um, songs from the '90s grunge and and uh, alternative songs. So he sounds good. Angelic. All right, Craig. You went to Boston. We talked about this last week. You uh, promoted Garage Night and Full Body Cast. Tell us. Tell us your stories, please. Uh, you know, I had to uh, had to wear the shirt around. So yes. I picked a day we were going to be doing some stuff. And I had a couple of people ask questions. First of all, they love the design of the shirt. Because most people think it's just a a cool shirt. They don't really know what it means, right? Yeah. And so when you tell them, oh, yeah, you know, it's it's a podcast. And, you know, you kind of explain to them, yeah, just a bunch of guys talking about nothing. Yeah. And, I, you know, I said it's got multiple shows. There's obviously a lot of shows. Nice. And, and uh so then you get people, then it sparks a little bit of interest. Yeah. Now, some people are like, ah, right, whatever. Yeah. But there's probably people that ask some follow-up questions like, oh, are you on it? And, you know, how many people, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. So 
we did that. We were in Boston. A couple people from the Duck Tours I asked. And then uh, we actually were going to uh, Cole Street uh, – not Cole Street. Cole Street Brewery. <laughs> uh, Sam like Adams. Yeah. Sam Adams Brewery. And we went to the tap room before we actually went to the brewery. And they had people at the front, you know, checking IDs coming now, in. Now, were you wearing the, the full buddy cast or were the brewer? So sure. at the tap room, I was wearing full buddy cast. Yeah. When I went to the brewery, I actually wore the Switched brew-ha. into the brew That's yeah. good. That's uh, that's kind of what you're. Yeah. yeah. So, but. The you be- went in the bathroom and changed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this, is ju- this is just for the brewery. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to switch back later. <laughs> but uh, so this guy at the front, he got, you know, he says, oh, it's a cool shirt. And, you know, I did the whole thing. Yeah, it's a podcast. And. And talked a little bit, and he checks, you know, checks my ID, Carrie ID, and we we walk in, and kind of turn around, and he's on his phone, and Carrie's like, "That guy didn't believe you. He's probably looking it up right now." Yeah, <laughs> was and did you kind of peek over and see if he was doing that? I did. Well, we, it, you didn't go through a couple doors to get into yeah. the tap room, but yeah, that's so, good. Well, ho- hopefully they're listening too. And then he said something about a duck boat. Yeah, we took the uh, the tour, duck tour. What is that? So it's like they had here in Seattle before it crashed and people <laughs> died. <laughs> <laughs> So bad. Why are we laughing about that? Because we were talking. <laughs> it's a it's a old World War Two amphibious vehicle that goes on land Something and that sea. Seattle like can't have anymore. I feel like we need to apologize in the next episode. Like, hey guys, so uh, it's like those editorials, like uh, based off of last year or last week's uh, publication. We were, we apologize deeply. It's that fine. We that laughed at the people that died. It's, I, it, it, it's fine. The drivers from Seattle didn't go to Boston, and they're different drivers, <laughs> so it's fine. I thought you meant the deaths were fine. No, why would that be fine? <laughs> I don't know. I was wondering where you were going with it. So messed up. Anyway, all right. So then you went to this. You went to the duck. Tour, yeah, they take tour Boston uh, by land, and you get to go in the water. Uh, free, I think it's a Charles River. Yeah. Anyway, you I don't remember. Choose, you have to choose one or two before you go into the water. What bathroom? <laughs> what are you talking hey, about? I'll say this before you go into the water. <laughs> what was the house you went into <laughs> when you were there? The house you went and saw when you were there. Oh, tons of oh, Paul Revere's yeah. house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was his thing? Never mind. Oh, one if by land, two if by sea. That's what you're talking about. God, this guy. This guy. No history. Yeah. His, so. History joke. Woo! <laughs> Just blowing the socks off of people. You're welcome. <laughs> what if uh, by land, two if by sea? All right. All right. Well, Corey, uh, you know, it's great having you on here. Uh, why don't you go ahead and take off? Uh, <laughs> nope. There's going to be at least one person that appreciates a history joke. <laughs> What if all the duck? What if all the Paul Revere beer people uh, went to that and, and they listened to that and they thought it was the funniest thing? <laughs> <in> the <world? laughs> that is so good. Best part of my day. Oh man. Anyway, or or you end up getting the podcast ends up getting uh, recat no recategorized <laughs> to a history podcast. History podcast. <laughs> Sober history <laughs> with Corey Bentley. Um, anyway, so so you doing the you went into the what what one did you choose? Where'd you go? What what? River, did you go into? Or I think it was the channel. I don't remember. It was part of the tour. It was like an hour and a half long tour. Oh, okay. But you had fun. It was good. It was a good time. No one <laughs> died. No. <laughs> so, nope. So bad. <laughs> I feel bad even making that joke. Um, yeah, you should. And uh, I do, actually. I feel horrible. Um, so here's here's a similar story. When Seth and I went to Tim Noah's thing, there's probably about three or four other people that were working there. And they're like, Enumclaw? Why from Enumclaw? And and so then Tim had said, well, I did a podcast. I was, on, I was a guest on his podcast. And they did the same thing. They did the, you got a podcast? And these are his friends. <laughs> like, like, I'm like. He told nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what guy actually lives there and helps take care of the property? <laughs> And the guy's like, oh, you got a podcast? Weird. I'm like, what? How are you not telling other people about this? He's like his best buds. He got done. He's like, this will never see the light of day. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, but uh, yeah, so that was interesting. It's kind of how I feel sometimes. You know, it's not you guys. You guys are actually really good. And and Joey and, and Sean, for sure. There's been a few people out there that like, when they do the podcast, it's like, my brother's good too, but they don't promote it. Like they just kind of like, like as if I I brought them on there and I'm like, 
can you, you hear a ringing sound? I think we're okay. It's in my right ear only, though. You hear that, too? I thought I was, like, losing my mind there for a moment. I thought I was having a stroke. Do you smell uh, burnt rubber? Uh, (laughs) Is it a burnt toast? Burnt toast on rubber? (laughs) Uh, Burnt rubber on toast? Uh, Anyway, I, I feel good now about that. Went away from me. I think. I don't think anyone can hear that. If you guys can hear that, you guys are also having a stroke. Anyway, <laughs> Corey can't hear it. I think it matters where I turn my head to. But sounds like a dog whistle. Yeah, it does sound like a dog Maybe whistle. I have ultrasonic hearing now. That's what I'm saying. That's why I can't. I don't know it. where it's coming from. I just had a superpower. Finally, my COVID shot worked. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Take the take the right helmet off or right helmet. Right. You have a whole helmet. I actually hear it. In my. It's that. It's that. It's got a high pitch thing going on over here. It's a refrigerator. Don't worry, we got it. We figured it out. <gasps> Not having a stroke. <laughs> Still alive. I don't anyway, have, I don't there's have people, superpowers. They don't promote their stuff. It's like if you're not if you're gonna come on here, take time out of your day and my day. I like having guests, but share the stuff. Like just share it. And it gets to a point where I, I know that you do, and then Lee angry faces it. He does. Which is great. I like when he angry faces. But I kind of feel like I need to start having some more like drama to, to just have people tune in. Like one of us become a villain. Well, yeah, like just kind of like not. I you hate guys, you, Travis. But just like hey, like I feel like I got to start getting mad at people. I can do it. Yeah, you could do You'd it. You'd be good. <laughs> but I'm, Craig I'm, can be the Simon Cal of our podcast. But the thing is, is I need power first. Like I need to be like be able to fire you. So I kind of want to hire people, pay them like five bucks a week, and then. Like, all right, fine, you're fired then. You're not getting your five bucks this week. You can pay me five bucks every time I show up. No, that's okay. (laughs) Soon. (laughs) Not fired, I quit. (laughs) (laughs) Craig Craig would be like, I didn't want to do this the whole time. (laughs) I'm out. (laughs) I kind of sometimes think, if you guys don't know this, um, they had a bet like five years ago. We've talked about this on the podcast before, of who who would keep the mustache the longest, the first person to shave it would be the one to lose. And I kind of feel like they're almost in on a bet on this show. Like they <laughs> both really longest. they both really want to quit it bad. <laughs> but the first person to quit loses that loses the bet. Would have been the best bet ever. <laughs> or is it the best <laughs> bet ever? <laughs> Speaking of mustaches, everybody everybody can join me in November again. And ride yours? And do more well if they I mean, for money. <laughs> but everybody. I'll do anything for, that was, that's Craig's line. <laughs> everybody can do Movember with me. Movember? Yeah. I'm in. You don't even have to shave all the way down to start it. Just go do a mustache right away. Just have a mustache the whole month. I feel like the girls should do it somehow, too. But I feel Just, like. Yeah, whatever they can do. I think we they talked be, about this before. They can be Mo sisters. And have you ever Mo actually bros. did Movember? Like, yeah. As a group. The like true a, Movember, you have to shave all the way yeah, down. Yeah, I did, I did it when we worked at Safeway. We could grow the mustache yeah. at Safeway. We couldn't grow the beard at that time. And so that's when, yeah, I did it for like so one. I did like, it for a full month. We what had I, like 10 We had a group that did it. One time did it. But what I'm saying is we just go straight to the mustache. You don't have to shave down and grow it. Just have the mustache the whole month. That's what we're going to do. So grow it in October for November? We'll just shave your beard down to a mustache for oh, the I'm whole not month doing of I'm not doing that. You already agreed. <laughs> no, like, no, what do you no, think no, just a mustache means? I, I just, like, you already had it going. No, this beard is my hoodie for my chins. It's for a month. No, I don't care. I won't get sex for a month. Like, my it's, wife would look at just me. Just stock up. Like, I was just, just called, about. Just stockpile I was just called a October. trash can chest. Stockpile You're in gonna, October. No, I'm going to look what? like, if I shave this thing, I look at Patreon the. Patreon members that are What's out on there? top of a if trash can? If you hear can, him right now, get him to do this mustache. Overflowing garbage. November. That's what my neck looks like if I shave this Offer thing. Offer him more Just Patreon money. Soda pop cans for the mustache. Demand the, the mustache. Paper out of plastic. Travis. Demand the, his mustache. Not happening. November this mustache. This is what I hear. This is what I hear from Travis. I hate prostate cancer. Yeah. That's no. What, that's what I'm hearing. I'll donate. You don't, <laughs> I'm growing a mustache. <laughs> no, I just it's got to be just a mustache. Absolutely not. You're, you know what? Your Patreon people should be pissed right now. They should be pissed. That you won't support that cause. And I, they support you. You know, I appreciate you guys supporting. In fact, <laughs> if you guys want to just don't donate to me uh, in November in honor of what prostate if you cancer. Have, what if you get zero in November? I'm okay with that. Just so you don't have to do the mustache? Just No. Yeah. I'm growing a effing mustache. <laughs> Your beard will grow back. It's one month. Dude. 
I, my kids, my five year old has never seen me without a beard. First of all, it's going to happen eventually. When? What do we get mandatory shaving? It's not nowadays? in November. It's not, it's not like you have a beard that is enormously thick that it'll take you four years to grow. Like Sean's. <laughs> Fine. You know what? If you get Sean to do it, I'll do it. Sean did it last Sean time did we it did it. it. He did it last year. No, the last time we did it for real. I guarantee Sean's not cutting his friggin' beard. If Sean cuts his beard, I will cut my beard. I guarantee he won't this time either. There we go. But you should still do it this time. No. Point. No. I'll wear, dude, dude, you I'll have, wear a bald cap listen, around hey, on my your, chin. Yeah, here's your deal. <laughs> it's just going to look like nuts hanging off your chin. <laughs> you, can, you can do it now because if when you go out to a place you feel self-conscious, just wear your mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm just in bed with my wife with a mask on. <laughs> Craig said I Craig said if I'm, I'm self conscious that I can wear if, a mask. Uh, I know you said you wouldn't, but if I have the mask on, can we? I'm just <laughs> just showering with a mask on, just sleeping with a mask on. I'm just self conscious of my own dreams. The mask on. I might do it now. <laughs> I think we should. Yeah, you're in. I'm not in. November. I'm planning on dying October 31st. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to be watching a football game October 31st. Where's that going to be? India. In India. That's on, on Halloween. Is it really? Yeah. That's a Sunday? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. It is. Oh, we it is. Out, we fly out 29th. 24th yeah. is a Sunday. 25th is my birthday. Seahawks are playing the uh, six playing the, the Saints Monday night football on my 40th birthday. I have tickets, but I'm I'm assuming, I am assuming that things will be shut down at that time, that it probably won't be. I don't think it'll be open to the public. There's no way. The game? Yeah. Yes, no, it will. Uh, select few. There's, yes, it will. It's going to be open. There's too much money for the NFL to not, yeah. And everything it'll be else. open in masks. Okay. They're not going to lose that money. Yeah. Probably maybe, maybe vaccination status. They might make you show a vax card. Yeah. That's like the one thing maybe they start. And I'll just doing. keep saying, uh, it's yeah, it's a faxed card. It's, yeah. a, it's a fax card. A vaxed? A vax fax? Hey, you. Come on in and say hi. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, it's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I shave, I'm glad you're here. Come here. Come share the mic. It's only come, a month. Come share the mic. What? It's a month long. So Corey November? has challenged me to mm-hmm. shave my beard for November. Mm-hmm. Just leave the mustache. No beard. How do you feel about this? Go ahead and say it in the mic. <laughs> it's good that you're not on TV. <laughs> See? You know what you can I do? I said, I'm th- he goes, he goes uh, Craig goes, just wear, it's great. It's a great time of year to do it, or a great time of, in the century. Because uh, just wear a mask. If ever I feel uncomfortable and, and uh, self-conscious, I can just wear a mask. I said, I'll be in bed with my wife with a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what you can do? You, you're allowed to leave the pirate patch. So you got the mustache and the little pirate patch. How is that a thing? Can I? Can I just just a little bit here? Can I? You know what? I will shave everything down to the neck beard. I will leave a neck. Just be- the neck beard and the mustache. Yeah. <laughs> so everything in between. That's why. That would be worse than just doing a mustache. <laughs> why are you choosing that? Of doing yeah. That you know what? Deal. <laughs> you know what? I will shave a, fa- a what will look like a face mask from a helmet, and I'll get lines. I'll have a line coming down here. It gaps. It gaps. This is all gonna look worse than if you. <laughs> Just had a mustache. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe a goatee. Goatee. Bring back goatees. This is the hoodie. <laughs> See, Jamie just likes extra hair. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> you have no. the you have the mask what'd you, option. What'd you come out here for? Oh, say hi. Just say hi. You just want to look athletic. You felt athletic in your athletic outfit. I did. I wore leggings. Yeah. Like maybe I just worked out today. Yeah. I did go on a walk though. <laughs> you sound like my workouts. <laughs> you, you missed him do uh, sixteen Let me push-ups. Tell you, some jerk idiot. What? Down on by the fire station. Uh huh. They were doing stuff with cement apparently, but it had run off into the sidewalk. You walked into it? I did, but Jacqueline did in her shoes that are from India that she loves. Are all caked in cement? I I got home in time and I washed them off. So. That's See? crazy. Some jerk. If they to Say, hey, everybody that's listening about this. That's, that's, called, you. that's called the city. <laughs> it probably <laughs> was the city. I'm going to call out all you city folk. And I got one in mind. <laughs> <laughs> one definite possibility. <laughs> Who's Who saw my wife coming? Uh, 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I like that guy. He hates me. <laughs> He'd probably do a mustache. He probably he would. Yeah. He was part of the original. And he was part of it. He's cooler than me. He's cooler than me. Uh, I'm just making a mental note that you're in. Yeah, you're I'm, in. You're in. Are you I'm, writing it down? Yeah, I wrote a mustache. Shaving mustache. October 31st. We'll see. Yep. We'll see. Um, Halloween we, treat. <laughs> hey, Craig, how was your golf game today? Uh, full body cast one. They crushed it. Yeah, they did. You know what's funny is that I did the glow ball for the men's tournament, and I think my handicap helped uh, because we got net. We actually won money at the at the glow ball. I was with KP, a guy named Tanner, another guy that I now have forgotten his name. I was really drunk. I was really drunk, uh, and and cigars. Anyway, gosh, I can't think. of... Oh, Xavier, and uh, X, X. You know who he, X is? He, he plays f- so, uh, softball with. The yeah. Nose cap. yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. He's a good golfer. He's a yeah. Those guys were. He hit it over the 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 chain fence, um, on 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 one. On, on one. Dude, I'm telling you, like I think I I I. The good thing was I could only contribute one drive. I. Was so drunk. I think I did. I don't know. I'm sure I did because they had to take it. But they told you they did. They told me that. I, I, all I know is I woke up the next morning, got into a truck with Seth Loop, and head out to Tim Noah's house. And then halfway through, I got a text that we won some net tournament part of it. So we won money on it. I was like, wow. I know we did good. I didn't know we did that good. Those guys were just lights out. And I'm over here. You know, that's global term. They were just lights on. And... uh and out. Anyway, we ended up winning. So, yeah, good job on winning the uh, Mount Rainier Federal MRCC. What I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> Do you guys know what it's called? MRFC. MRFC. Mount Rainier Foothill Soccer Club. Soccer Club. Is that going to get you in trouble with any of any other friends? I don't care. I, my kids were part of MRFC. Oh, you crap. Yeah. My kids care. were part of MRFC. My name's Craig. My name's Craig. Oh, crap. I don't care. Do what I want. I golf. I do what I want. What was your longest drive? <laughs> what was your long drive? About 420. <laughs> 420. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It was a par three. I went way out of bounds. Yeah. I, cho- yeah. I chose the wrong club. <laughs> I, I chose my six instead of my nine. <laughs> six wood. <laughs> yeah, you, you hit a six 420. <laughs> Amazing power. In the air. Popped it up. <laughs> Landed a few feet in front of me. <laughs> That'd yeah, be impressive. I was 420 inches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he doesn't miss. He surveys everything. <laughs> he surveyed it all. Yes. Oh, that's so funny. I now get it. He just, you know what? You should be. That would be so good. Is if you're like, just a second, guys. You run out to the hole. Put a little thing down. <laughs> run back. Pull out your tripod. Set it on. Set it on the tee. Uh, are we getting a read? Hold on, I'll be right back. Run back over there. Have you ever watched golf on TV? Sh- sure. Have you not noticed that on every hole of every golf course ever, there's surveyors? No. 100%. No, just we'll next time. No, they wear vests just because nope. that's they're like nope. crowd control. You should get that job. No, that, that's, it is. The stand and stuff. Yeah. What do you think of this? I'm serious. What do you think of the stand and stuff taco? <laughs> We should get a logo of just Craig on the box. <laughs> For your next taco night, Craig yeah. Craig presents standing stuff. You know stuff. what? That's that's your Mazalon meal right there. <laughs> the standing stuff the, burrito. The, the, the Craig standing stuff taco. Oh, the super standing stuff burrito. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one, you know, it it's always, always gets better. Uh, let's talk fantasy football, okay? Mike Davis. Mike Davis. Are you going to try and trade for Mike Davis? No. Yeah, well, make he, me an offer. Some ridiculous whatever. Wait, how are you going to make me an offer? You never know. He, but Mike Davis is playing for the Falcons now? Where, where's yeah, he RB1. playing? RB1. RB1. See, Falcons. but the Falcons don't run. That was the same thing with Todd Gurley. You thought, oh, man, Todd Gurley was going to be great, and then he just didn't do well. It's because Matt Ryan just throws the entire time. I mean, Julio Jones is gone now, but Calvin Ridley's on there still. I feel and, and is Austin Hooper? Oh, he's on the Browns. Um, I just feel like it's going to be 
just not, no running opportunities for Mike Davis. Do you he make doesn't a, need a lot of. Do you want to make a bet on his over under touchdowns? What are you saying? He's not going <laughs> to score like six touchdowns over the year. Yeah, I think he'll score six touchdowns. Okay. I think he's not going to be a powerhouse though, like he was thousand when, yard, he, when he played thou, last year. Thousand yard rusher. I don't think he'll be a thousand yard rusher. Not nah, did I? I was just curious. <laughs> Craig's like nine ninety two. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think he's going to be a thousand? No, but I think he scores ten touchdowns. Ten touchdowns. Yeah. Do you want to bet that he scores ten touchdowns? Yeah. What do you want to bet? Uh, what do you, What do you want to bet? I wish I could bet that you shave into a mustache. <laughs> Not that. <clears throat> Listen, I'll share the. I'll, I'll shave the beard. That's, that's all I asked you. No, to that's, shave. that's growing down south. <laughs> I don't need and your. I'll, and I'll leave a mustache up top. <laughs> Do you have your happy trail that leads to it. The unhappy trail. <laughs> <clears throat> don't follow this. One. Don't follow this one. Don't follow. You're gonna this. be very disappointed. Super sad. Feel bad for you. Trail of tears. We're gonna send, we'll send a search party. <laughs> the arrow that points backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Under construction. That's, a, that's an even more unhappier trail. I don't know where. I don't. If you're gonna get on that trail, you don't know where you want. You want to go north or south. Either way, you don't want to be on it, on that trail. Let's just say that. You wash up on shore, you're done. <laughs> what about that football game last night? That was pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bucks crushed By the Cowboys. 40. Yeah. By 40. Yeah. Just like I it. said a week ago. You, yeah, Craig, Craig you, you had a 420-yard drive. <laughs> you, 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 won, you won the tournament, and the then the Bucks crushed the Cowboys by 40. Yeah. And you called the, like, in the fourth quarter, deep pass from yeah, Dak. Yeah, did you see that? Yeah, that and was, then, I mean, to make it 31. Yeah, they didn't do it. But seven. it was good points for whoever those CD Lamb owners are. Do you got CD Lamb? In one league, I do. How many leagues are you in? Two. You already drafted? Two of them, yeah. See, and I, maybe a third one would have drafted by the time that somebody hears this. Yeah. Way to get hey, way to get them again. <laughs> yeah, I drafted them again. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how we just predicting <laughs> we're bound to get something right. It's like playing Keno. You're like you're grabbing seven different numbers. You're bound to get one of those numbers. I was told if you're playing Keno, you have to be drinking scotch. Yes. Is that what those guys were doing? Yes. Yeah. What are you talking? What are you talking about? Oh, well, I was down in Reno and I I sat for like three hours with these old guys playing Keno. It was awesome. And all they did was drink scotch. And play Keno? Yeah. And tip the waitress like, I don't even know, ridiculous amounts of money. Like I got a, the first, before I actually sat and talked to these guys and hung out with them for a little bit, I was sitting there having my beer and like throw a dollar or whatever on the plate. These guys are getting scotch and throwing like 20s. <laughs> You see this guy throwing a dollar? <laughs> yeah. That's probably why they felt bad. That's why they started talking to me. He doesn't even have a scotch. Yeah. That's because you're a tight one. <laughs> Basically. Not really, though. You, you'll, you'll splurge. Oh, yeah, absolutely. How, how much did your uh, Boston trip cost? Like, excluding airfare? No, the whole thing. Like, like, let's say right now, I spun on the Wheel of Fortune. Boom. I get the Boston thing. Or I go to the, I go to the, uh, the Price is Right. Yeah. Went uh, to Boston, Craig Bentley and Kerry Bentley experience. Which game was it on? Did you? Want? <laughs> I wanted. I, I guess the refrigerator, Air, airfare, thing. hotel, everything we did. Yeah, know, it wasn't Plinko. Three grand. 3, That's it. Oh, wasn't it? Super Man, expensive. I could. I could have gone to Boston like five times on my last. My last casino yeah. or Vegas trip. Who's yeah, but grand that wasn't them? for the casino or the flight. That was what you spent in the Vegas. <laughs> That's crazy. Maybe maybe closer to four. It was about a grand for the hotel, about a grand for airfare. Was there anything that you felt like you overpaid? You're like, shoot, I wish I... You know what? That meal was, was crappy. I wish I didn't have that meal. No, I thought I underpaid for cannolis. Those are good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know how big... <laughs> Craig's eyebrows yeah. and eyes are those are good. Craig's new favorite thing. Cannolis. Oh, no, you get sick. I, I think if you live there, you get sick of them. It's like a. It's like a. What is a cannoli? Well, you have to, I can't. It's totally like a, isn't it just cream filled pastries? And basically, yeah. and you no. That's why you're kinds. gonna be. That's why you're gonna be four hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you gotta go walk it off in the humidity, dude. The humidity when we went back there. Yeah. Like, because I saw the news. Their humidity was like it would be like if you were in the like jungle, like tropical. Even the people back there said it was ridiculous. Like it was the most humid it's ever been. Well, put it this way: I am. I, I I'm died. A, I'm a sweater, right? I, we've talked about it before. Yeah. 
So there was days where we'd be walking for hours, and I'd get that men's like right here in the front. Oh, my back. I, yeah, I had that Tim Noah's thing. Yep. And all of a sudden, I kind of feel like oh, and I'm looking around. Everybody, every dude you're walking by, they're all they're sweating. all doing it. And I'm like, ah, okay, whatever. It's, the, it's like hot it's yoga. Just, yeah, it's just hot the way it was. Hot yoga. It's like you got it too. All oh, right. Yeah. Do you get it, Craig or Corey? It's a Bentley trait. It's a Ken, it's a Kenny trait too. I was I was recording with uh, I want to say either my uncle Rob or Joey. And I was sitting in that chair, but it was here, and I stood up. And I had as if someone poured a bucket of water on my back, and I had no clue the entire time. I stood up, I didn't unpeel. It was just wet, and it had leaked all the way, as if someone had just dumped a cup of water on me, all the way to the side of my chest, underneath my right boob. You know what caused that? Intensity. It was 120 degrees in this. It thing was again. my beard. I should shave it off. You should. You should you shave look, it right you'd off. You'd look amazing with a mustache. Have you ever? When was the last time you went out? Like you didn't have any facial hair at all, none, bare face. Uh, I had two for years at Safeway. You know when was the last time? Wow, it's been a few years. As soon as they released the, uh, I'd say like maybe like a year and a half, two years ago, I shaved all the way down I to went, nothing, to nothing in group back. Yeah. By you? It's last winter I did nothing. Hmm? I mean, usually once about a, once a year. Every once in a while, you got to shave it down yeah. and let it breathe. Let, let your face breathe. <laughs> if I were to shave this right now, especially when I've been in the sun like crazy, it would I would have a white like skin beard. I think. No, you wouldn't. You don't think so? Nope. Well, until the last couple of years, I only had a goatee until about August, and then I would grow the beard, the winter beard out. Yeah. And then I just, and then all of a sudden, two three years ago, I just kept it and never. Sometimes went back he to enjoys goatee. mutton chops. Sometimes he enjoys the Seamus look. Oh, yeah. I love Seamus. I love the chin beard. That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> in a good, in a, way. A good in sick. In a good way. It's a good sick. That our Fu Manchu. All right. Let's get into these loaded questions. We did this with Joey the other day. Uh, he had, he, he listened, he actually texted me because I had Ashley Murphy hit me up saying that was the funniest episode I think I've heard in a long time. From, from Joey. So funny. And the th- weird thing was, is I barely talked. <laughs> so it hurt my feelings. And then... <laughs> <laughs> the best episodes ever when Homer Travis Robertson started. just straight up shares it. I, sh- I release it at 11. Like, by 11.45, he's shared on Facebook saying this was a great episode. Shares it. I haven't even shared it yet. He shares it. So I'm realizing sometimes you need to step out of the spotlight. I haven't real I haven't realized that here on this episode yet or on these people. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to ask the questions and I will barely talk, but you guys talk. How does that sound? That sounds good. I believe it though. When Craig, you do it. what would totally overwhelm you right now? Like what? Like what? What totally overwhelms you? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Yard work, taxes. Don't, uh, you don't let it. We we went in deep about this. Yeah, we went deep about letting things go and. That's a bad question for me. Yeah. It's overwhelming when some of the podcast hosts won't let you talk, though. Corey, what about you? Is that it? <laughs> yeah. There was one point where I even said on the on the episode with Joey, I said, uh, okay, uh, reading all these different questions, one of them was, like, like what, what, what do you feel is a total waste of time? And his answer was, whenever I talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> and he loved that. He said, like, four times after that, and he even texted to me. He texted it back to you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is a strange reason to celebrate? Death. Interesting. Is it a strange reason to celebrate? Could be. I mean, not everybody. Certain people, it is. <laughs> like, why were you celebrating that person? He should have died. <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> Glad the guy's gone. <laughs> Don't you guys have a death bet that I have to do something for a celebration for you guys? Dude, did you not just hear the last episode? He celebrated the duck ride people in That, that Seattle, is true. Man. He did celebrate their death. I did not celebrate. <laughs> that was pretty rude, I though. couldn't believe you would say that. That was pretty rude. And that wasn't last episode. That was the beginning of this episode. <laughs> was was it? it? Yeah. You sure? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was this week. <laughs> <laughs> didn't predict that one. Wait, who, whose bet is that you, who dies first between you two? And then I have to like hide treasure or something? All right, yeah, there's three. Okay. I just got to make sure so I can celebrate. I don't remember. You have to go back and listen. Yeah, you listen to that one. I'm going to celebrate uh, your death. For me, what a strange 
uh, reason to celebrate is when defensive backs, it's, it's a completely overthrown, horrible pass by a quarterback. And then the defensive back he celebrates just it. Does the incomplete pass, like, yeah. That was all me. Ridiculous. I think like the full team celebration like they do now is like oh the defensive one <laughs> yeah, where like, they all run back to like, the end zone like every single time yeah like we don't need this every like <laughs> you did you did a good you did your yeah. job yeah go on the sidelines and celebrate yeah yeah uh, I think what would be great is what what do you think <laughs> let's talk NFL real quick what do you think would be hilarious if it was celebrated and it should be celebrated mine would be if a kicker kicks it on the kickoff in like in the between the uprights and then he runs down grabs the ball runs the ball all the way back to the other end zone sits there spins it and like poses by it where it's just like you you're waiting 5 minutes for the kicker to to, to celebrate oh after the punt after the after the, yeah <laughs> or, just, or hold a, on a sec. Or a coffin kick corner. Yes, coffin kick corner where should a, be yeah. celebrated. Where a punter just gets it on the, like the one yard line in the corner, and then he goes, grabs the ball, spins it, spikes it. The whole special teams <laughs> joins him, and they take a picture in front of them. I think they should celebrate pancakes Ooh. when the offensive lineman pancake. They, the whole offensive line should stand over the defensive lineman and be able to taunt them. <laughs> Dude, can you believe taunting's getting? Yeah, it's stupid. They should be able to taunt. Why can't they? I don't know. It's not Chad Ontrocinco's fault this time. It's that pisses me off. It's one thing to sell, but like, just like, it's part of like Ezekiel one up each other doing the cereal thing. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, you should. That's good. Yeah, yeah. but but I'm a, but I'm gonna let them still do it. Yeah, I don't know why they're doing that. Stupid owners. Craig, what's your opinion on that? <clears throat> I think it's also stupid that he says feed me. But does it bother you? <laughs> Do you know what Craig celebrated when Dak broke his ankle? Yeah. What? No, when he did. Oh. <laughs> Yom Kippur. The mo- <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know what Craig celebrated? He, cele- he celebrated Hanukkah. He celebrated he was, Thanksgiving last year. He was so happy. He had turkey. He was so He snapped the ankle on that turkey. Broke it right now. When it was like hanging and dangling. Like, yes. Yeah, he was excited. He texted me. Oh. Just... I hope he's dead. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is one thing you have never done on the internet? Never done on the internet. We know things that everyone has done on the internet. We don't have to answer that. What is one thing that most people do on the internet that you never have done on the internet? I've never actually listened to a podcast on my computer on the internet. I always do it on my phone. Listen to music ever? Mm, not on the internet. So no, always so on my you phone. never listen to anything on on the on I, the internet. I've listened to music on the computer, but I've never listened to a podcast full on a computer. Okay. Okay. Craig? I don't know. I've never joined a dating site on the internet. Just on, on my internet. just on my phone. <laughs> um, that's good. I've never uh, played video games on the internet. For my computer. You never played like the free Yahoo pool back in the day where you could like play those games? No, never. I could say I never did that. Or the Yahoo chat. You ever had? You ever I did did never did chess. that. You ever do Yahoo chat rooms? No, I did chess. Oh, I've done chess on the internet. Yeah. Yes. Me and Ben Elman. Shout out to him. New Patreon for, for uh, sep- uh, pardon me, se- September. You should bring chat rooms back like the Yahoo chat rooms. Where you had to like type out what you were doing. I used to when I was what? younger. I was in this chat room, for, like a wrestling chat room. Yeah. And there was legitimately people typing like, "Bring chair and hit like so and so," and then the next person would be like, "Body slam so and so." They're like typing this back and forth to each other. <laughs> <laughs> that was on the Incredible Universe computer. <laughs> <laughs> dial up. Yeah. Like I don't so, know. I don't know who hit the chair because the dial up. Somebody's on the phone. So he just yeah. So he just picked up the phone. <laughs> so here's me when I was like 18 or 19, young and horny. Okay. Magazines in the chat room. The, no, no, magazines no. out the car. In the chat yeah, room. Magazines out the car. You better get yes. out your towel. <laughs> yes. I I think I could have probably gotten uh, uh, what's his name, Scott yeah. Hansen. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> just uh, a 40 year old guy telling yeah. you when to pull your dick. <laughs> So here's the thing. He's like, I so, guess it happens now. So, <laughs> so, so, he has to listen to your base. 
either shave your beard or pull your dick out. Um, <laughs> One or the other. Do it. <laughs> do it now. You won't. <laughs> so, uh, so I was young and horny one one time, and I'm like, never had a chat room. I was at a friend's house. I was like house sitting. So it was his computer. And so I'm like, sweet, I can pretty much do whatever I want on this computer. It's never going to get back to me as long as I delete the history. So uh, I called some bomb threats. In. No, I'm kidding. So I, uh, I I started, I'm like, I've never been in a chat room. I started checking out the chat rooms. And there was like, it said adult or like, uh, I forget, romantic or something like that. So I went into that one. And I had no clue what was waiting for me. <laughs> I had no clue. They had a. It was A S L. Age, sex, uh, language, location, uh, location. Right? Yeah, location. And then they'd have sizes. So I joined a lesbian one because I'm like, what are these guys talking about? And this is like early 2000s, maybe late 90s. No, it was early 2000s. No, it, it was. I think I was graduated from high school. It was. Yeah, it was late. Yeah. It was. It was. It what was kind early two thousand. What kind of Birkenstocks are on sale? So I'm like, this is when lesb <laughs> this is when lesbians were like the thing back back in the early two thousands. It was like, oh, you know. So I'm like, yeah, oh, I want to read what these these people write back and forth. And I quickly figured out there was probably no women in there, <laughs> but just dudes pretending they were women because their profile pictures were like pretty much things downloaded off the internet as a profile picture, and they were just. Did you chat with them? I was no. You like slowly stroke. No, your hair. no, no, no. Send. I, no, I sat there and just read all these horny people, dudes, thinking that they were talking to a woman, pretending they were a woman. <laughs> I guarantee. I wish South Park did something on it. I was thinking that'd be so funny <laughs> if they had something out there with some uh, show or something where they just had 12 dudes talking to <laughs> each other, getting all aroused over uh, thinking that they were talking to real women. And I know they weren't. I'm sure they've had to do that on some show. Has to. They've have had to do that. Oh, it was so funny. You you had to. Have I eventually you told had the to guy. Type to him. I eventually told the guy. Oh, I did. Oh, I got in there. Yeah. I, I I splashed around, but uh, literally. Little, dip, I, I, I dip, <laughs> dip the toe in the conversation. I sloshed a little, around a little bit. A little bit of lesbian conversation. That's a, that's a Desi B. Sarah Johnson joke there. Um, anyway, we won't tell that story. Even though it, every time I say we won't tell that story, it sounds bad. It's just I don't want to bore you guys with it, but I'll bore you guys with the freaking AOL lesbian one. <sighs> next question. Next <laughs> next question. Yeah. I, hope, I heard he, I didn't hope he say AOL. he wasn't going to talk this yeah. episode? I hope it was about AOL. <laughs> if you find a $50 bill on the street and had to spend it immediately, what would you buy? $50. Another person's affection. <laughs> <laughs> um right away candy it would be has to be right it has to be right away where i'm stand. assuming where are we at yeah i don't know what store i'm in front of i go to a restaurant and eat oh you can go anywhere i thought it was like the next person to walk by i'd be like here's 50 dollars i thought Love you meant like spend literally it, right spend there. it that night oh you never said that you said right away it says spend it immediately I'd, but I'd, i mean like i'd go put 50 dollars on black Really? Yeah. That's a long way. I don't Just go drive. drive all the way out there. <laughs> I ain't driving all the way out there. No, I go get have a good dinner and some drinks. I'll do that anyway. After I win money on black, <laughs> a bigger, better dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is one television show that everyone loves that you think is annoying? Like you're like, I hate this show. Everyone loves it, but I hate it. Hmm. I have one that I've turned on. So for a long time, there's a show called Chuck that I, I thought Chuck. was annoying. I oh. hated it, but I have since watched all of it and changed my mind on it. Really? So I will admit that I was wrong on Chuck. That show it was funny. I, I had to be in the right moment when I watched it yeah. for it not to be annoying. I will admit that one. It's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do a shout out to Holly, uh, the Bachelor or Bachelorette. You think that is the most annoying? I think it's the premise is completely stupid. I, wow. I think a lot of those, like keeping up with the Kardashians is super annoying to me. I've had to sit and watch that before, not by choice. And that there's, what's the point? You're, you're rich and you can do whatever you want. And then you complain about shit. That's a good point. Mine's friends. Can't stand it. Everyone thinks it's hilarious. Can't stand it. Watch the show. Sure. I'll laugh like once or twice. Cause it, it can be funny. Can't stand it. Haven't watched it until this year. I started watching. Do you like it? 
It's 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 good. I don't. Oh my gosh! I don't hate it. You're it's changing. Funny. You're growing. Everything that used to annoy you and bother you, you're like, oh, I love it. I'm, things, I'm, say it's because things have changed. Things, things, things have, have changed. <laughs> yeah, life's well, changed, Travis. What is your most common ailment? And as old men, what's your most common ailment? My back. Yep. Just kidding. We had that conversation. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is my. Is it your back? Yeah. Is it your crack? Yep. You put. <laughs> say it. If you're gonna do it, say it. <laughs> or guess what? Guess what? Then you're the pussy. Oh. If you don't say. It. I don't even know what you're talking about. YouTube. So you're back. All rated. Your back hurts. Yeah, I have back issues. I've had back issues in high school. Mm. I lost credit in the class because of it. What? I lost so, credit. It, what? What credit? What? I lost credit in uh, it was a keyboarding. I think I just didn't show up to class, and then I told him I got a chiropractor note. <laughs> And I had to go in front of the council of students and tell them why I couldn't go to class because my back hurt. Wait, were you at Hogwarts? Like, what, are you talk- <laughs> what are you talking about? I had to go in front of the council. They don't council. have a council at Hogwarts. I'm st- I'm st- <laughs> yeah, Craig. <great. laughs> <laughs> don't test Craig on the Hogwarts cult- shit. Yeah, they call it the lesion of, of, of students. You idiot. <laughs> Freaking nerd. Uh, what's your common ailment really, Craig? Um, you know, His all mouth. years, pro- <laughs> yes, uh, I would say it's my calf. Which one, left or right? Either or. It's just too strong. <laughs> you have to stretch them out? Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm that person that if I don't like, I don't know, if, I hate bananas, first of all. Bananas are the worst ever. But I think I don't have enough potassium. Yeah, he doesn't eat bananas. He so cramps in the middle of the night. I cramp up in the middle of the night. Sometimes <laughs> he gets Charlie horses and his screens <laughs> so in the middle of the night. I knew, I knew these uh, rushes. Lee might know them. Um, but I know these Russians <laughs> that would swim out, and they what they do is they would they would go to like, you know, wherever you would swim in the ocean or where it's deep, and they would have a safety pin attached to their, uh, to their shorts. And what they would do is they would, if they did cramp up, they'd have that safety pin where they would just jam it into their muscle and just work it out and work it out so they wouldn't drown. Um, are you that bad? Like, are you in the middle of the night where you're just grabbing the it, safety pin? Wake up. Yeah, it's like a wake up. He screams like a little girl. Dude. Okay, let's get real for a moment. <laughs> Sex cramps are the worst. I've never had that. Yes, you have. have if you've gotten sleep cramps, you put you you, you put your body you got, in a certain you position. Gotta, you got to know your position so you don't cramp yeah, up. Yeah, that's Travis. true. There's sometimes you're all of a he's sudden he's trying to do stuff he shouldn't yeah, be he doing. Should. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> if, you're, if you're cramping up, you shouldn't got be my doing swing it. out. <laughs> what's he's that? like, he's like, what's that for? Well, it's Thursday and I gotta get limber. <laughs> he goes in. I got get these cramps during sex. I'm like, you gotta just start laying there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, even then, sometimes and I'm just not laying there. Of, I'm that out of shape. <laughs> That once one muscle starts to move in one area, he, clench, the other... he clenches, and then it all goes from there. One clench, and his back's out. Oh, God. Uh, you go ahead and finish. I'm done. Oh. Literally. I'm done. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> all right. Let's do shout outs. Everyone, thanks for listening. we do some shout outs real quick. Uh, I said I would shout out what? Uh, well, I I haven't heard you do a uh, Patreon call yet. Oh, I gotta do push ups. I'm gonna cramp yeah. up doing this. <laughs> <laughs> and, All right, and we're going out tonight. Oh, we're going out tonight, September 10th. Um, that sucks, butts. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Let's see if anyone's joined since. Oh, well, thank goodness, no one's joined in the past half hour. <laughs> Just Corey and Craig <laughs> immediately delete their pledges when I'm done. He's like, we can't get to 18. He can't get to it. We know he wouldn't be able to do it. What if you don't get to it? What happens? Do, they, do you owe them money? <laughs> this is a lot. If you would, this is more than double what I usually do. When you get a board, you'll be done with this. All we right. talked about it. Okay, let's try this. Oh. Stretching up his calves, all that talking about your, uh, your butt's high. All right. <laughs> Kill them all! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Eric Madrid! Adam Kelly! Casey Scott! Seth! Jesse Lee! Casey! You didn't even know. That's not even an eight. His face is so Spencer. red. Casey Spencer! Amanda Keating! Adam <laughs> Potter! Adam! He's doing knee 
push ups. <laughs> she got a server. Jared Skelly over Robertson. Veronica Laura. If I was a patron, I would have been disappointed right now. <laughs> oh. What I want to know is you were doing knee push ups and still getting tired. <laughs> I, I gave up. I gave up. Oh, that's a terrible challenge. Patreon members, demand your push-ups and demand your board. <sighs> what are your guys' ch- – uh, I haven't seen you guys do push-ups yet. We're not going to do that again. <laughs> Craig, what's your freaking shout-out? I'm not going to – I'm going to use this shout-out again because we have not heard from anybody, at least that Trav told us, the challenge that we put out to have – themselves, their kids, whoever they want to do, yeah. 18 push-ups, mm. and then send it to Trav no, and all say we need that, that you do more push-ups than Trav. Do you know, 18 push-ups, hashtag Trav can't. You know what we should yeah. do is bring in 18 to do 18 push-ups. I guarantee he could do it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he can. Probably but could much. he do them with Travis sitting on him? Probably not that much more. Not at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you catch your breath. This sucks. All right, Corey, what's your shout out before we end this thing? I'm still waiting to be visited in the store. You guys have the lamest shout outs. Give me a real shout out. Actually, that was a real shout out. This is good. It Challenging is people. To the challenge the hey, listeners. Hey, idiots. One of you idiots. Ask us questions. Send some questions listen. in. One of you idiots listening right now. Send some questions in. Go freaking go to Safeway right now. Get in your freaking car. Go I'm not, drive. I'm not there right now. You're on vacation? No, just right now. No, yeah. Go see Corey. It would be Friday morning. You'd be there. Go ask him a question. (laughs) Normal Fridays, I'm off. But not this Friday, the 10th. You'll be there. Yeah. Oh, that's true. You couldn't (laughs) golf. Yeah. Well, that's only if I work six days. There's a possibility I won't be there. (laughs) You're the worst. (laughs) Just go there anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Leave a note. Do it tomorrow. (laughs) Do it at any point. You see Corey, go say, say, hey, uh, I listen to the podcast. Just talk to any produce person. (laughs) Ask for Brandon. Yeah. Oh, he'd love it. <laughs> oh, man, I'm hurting. Ask Brandon to pick out your watermelon. <laughs> Does he hate it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. What you do is take the watermelon up, keep knocking on it, and ask him if the uh, if it's mushy inside, <laughs> and then just keep hitting it <laughs> until you break it and then hand it to him. Okay. <laughs> this one's not good anymore. <laughs> You know what showed up? <laughs> All right, Craig's telling ridiculous jokes. We got to get out of here pumpkin now. Pumpkin showed up. That's ridiculous. Oh, no shout outs to pumpkins. Yeah, <laughs> screw pumpkins. <laughs> if anybody wants pumpkins, just break them all. <laughs> just drive your truck through. Yeah. Bring your kid. <laughs> yeah. Let them take them and throw them. <laughs> shout out to those guys. <laughs> shout out to the real heroes. <laughs> People who hate pumpkins. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great week. Come out to Mazatlan, Bordeaux Wine Bar, Cole Street tonight, 6, 6.15 p.m. We're going to go hit up the bar at Mazatlan, eat our food, and then go hit the town. I cannot wait to see you guys. Craig is in already, and so is Corey. Thanks. Have a great week. Take care. Goodbye. Hello.